Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much to the person that's actually commissioned this wand. They've actually commissioned several others as well, but this was the first one that I made for them, uh, Ginny's wand, so thank you so much. Here you can see I'm on the wood turning lathe, trying to get my head into every shot as much as I can. <laughs> no, just uh, turning the wand down from the piece of the plain wood down to the actual main shape of the wand. So here you can see I'm just at the end, and with Ginny's wand it's basically got almost like a, an acorn shape on the end. So I'm trying to get most of the shape in as much as I can with the uh, with the lathe there, and leaving enough wood just for the handle to be able to mark out and create the sort of spirals and the sort of I don't know exactly what you call them, but you'll see later on in the video they're sort of crisscrossed. Um, diamond shaped, I'd almost say like a pineapple or a grenade sort of <laughs> angle on the base of the handle. <laughs> And here you can see I've just marked out the correct spacing in pencil and then used a piece of very thin masking tape to make the actual spiral shape to get the right spacing and then mark it out with a pencil and then I can take off the masking tape and know exactly where to actually cut into. <laughs> this part that I couldn't quite describe as I said the sort of pineapple grenade sort of uh, <laughs> square shape the, um, the sort of diamond pattern I'm uh, just marking out the opposite and then here you can see with a junior hacksaw blade I'm just cutting in so I know exactly where to cut up to with the uh, the tools that I use in the future for it and then once I've actually marked out the shapes with the hacksaw blade I then go back in with a triangle file which sort of gouges out the, the grooves and makes them a lot more pronounced. And for this particular bottom section of the, the handle, the pineapple section, it, uh, it really sort of marked out enough that then all I had to do was carve with a craft knife the rest of the, the wood away and left the correct shape. <laughs> And with this carving on the handle, as you saw there, I go from the top to the bottom and then work my way back up on the opposite side and slowly smoothed out the spiral shape. And then once I've done that, I then realised I needed to dig in a little bit further with the blade and then with the hacksaw blade, sorry, and then go back in with the knife and really pronounce the, the shape. So really carve it a little bit deeper and get it to be a bit more obvious as to the shape that it should be. With this pineapple section I then needed to carve it down at sort of 45 degree angles all the way along, carve each individual square to a point and then the parts in the middle on my reference photo of Ginny's wand they didn't quite go to a point so I left those with a square edge on the top. I then went back over the entire wand, or mainly the handle, but the, the entire wand with 120, then 240, and then 320 grit sandpaper to really get it down to a nice, fine, smooth feeling. But with the actual handle, the spiral on the handle, it was uh, a lot of sanding to get it to be smooth enough, and so you couldn't see any of the carving marks. Then we cut off the tip, so I measured out the wand to the right length, cut off the tip of the wand, and then smoothed it to a nice rounded edge. When I'd finished that part, I then realised that I'd actually missed out a section on the back, that part of the spiral doesn't just turn into a, a slot like I had it, 
it uh, actually smooths out to the the back of the handle so I then used wood filler let it dry and then sanded it to the correct shape <laughs> painting the wand I then used Dela and Rowney System 3 black acrylic paint which I covered the entire wand in on this video you can see that I do a coat but I technically did two coats just to make sure it covered correctly <laughs> Once the paint was dry, I then used car uh, acrylic lacquer to spray the wand with only one coat just so it gives it a nice shiny case basically, a real crisp outer layer. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe for more.